Hello. In this video, we are going to solve the following problem. To find the boiling point of water at the top of Mount Everest, if the pressure there is 253 tour. You can pause the video now, attempt a solution, then when you're finished, you can restart the video to see our solution. Welcome back. To solve this problem, we need to use the clausius clapeyron equation. Recall that the equation tells us that the log of the ratio of the pressures is going to be equal to the enthalpy of vaporization divided by R times the inverse of temperature 2 minus the inverse of temperature 1. For the particular problem here, we are talking about water and our pressure number 1 is going to be 760 torr, which is our ordinary 1 atmosphere. Our pressure number 2 is the pressure at the top of Mount Everest which is 253 torr. Next, as far as our temperatures, T1 is the normal boiling point of water, which is 100 degrees centigrade. And then we always have to convert to the thermodynamic temperature of 373.15 Kelvin. And T2, in this particular case, is what we're trying to find, which will be the boiling point of water when we reduce the atmospheric pressure to 253 torr. Equivalently, it tells us that under that particular pressure, the vapor pressure of water will be 253 torr. Recall that the boiling point of a liquid is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the liquid is now equal to the atmospheric pressure. Two further quantities that we need to solve this equation are the enthalpy of vaporization of water, which is 40.653 kilojoules per mole. For our purposes, it's convenient to convert this quantity to joules. So recall that one kilojoule is equal to 1,000 joules. So if we make that conversion, we can cancel units of kilojoules. We see that this is equal to 40,653 joules per mole. Last but not least, we need to use the gas constant R. And we need to use it in the form of 8.3144 joules per Kelvin or more. Now, with these quantities in tow, we will substitute into the clausius clapeyron equation and solve for T2. Now, we can begin to substitute into the clausius clapeyron equation the specific values for our problem. So recall that P1 is 760 torr. And P2, Mount Everest, is 253 tour. Our enthalpy of vaporization of water is 40,653 joules per mole. R is 8.3144 joules per Kelvin. T is as yet unknown, so we have 1 over T2. And we know that T1 is 373.15 Kelvin. So 
Now we can simplify over here, and this becomes the log of 3.00395. On the right-hand side, notice that we can cancel units of joules and the units of inverse moles. So that gives us 4,889.47 Kelvin times 1 over T2 minus 1 over 373.13 Kelvin. Now we can substitute, we can solve on the left hand side, evaluate the natural log, and that becomes 1.099929. One thing to notice is that whenever you take the natural log of an expression, the expression must be unitless. So that's why it's important that we use the exact same unit for pressure here so that the units will cancel and we get a unitless number before we try to take the natural log. Now I can distribute this expression over the two terms on the right hand side. So that gives me 4,889.47 Kelvin divided by T2 minus 4,889.47 Kelvin divided by 373.15 Kelvin. And then we're going to notice that the units of Kelvin will cancel for the fraction to the right-hand side. Dividing through the rightmost term, now we get 1.099929. Equals 4,889.47 Kelvin divided by T2 minus 13.108. Now we're going to add 13.108 to each side, and that gives us 14.2084 on the left hand side. And the right hand side still remains 4,889.47 Kelvin divided by T2. Now I can multiply each side by T2 and divide by 14.2084 in a single step to give us that T2 is equal to 4,889.47 Kelvin divided by 14.2084. Then I can evaluate this directly, and this gives me that the new boiling point is going to be 344.12 degrees Kelvin. I note that this is very, very close to being 71 degrees centigrade. So, while water has a boiling point at atmospheric pressure of being, uh, atmospheric pressure of 760 torr of being 100 degrees centigrade, its boiling point under a pressure of 253 torr is going to be reduced down to 71 degrees centigrade. I thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.